Hi guys, it is currently, sorry I'm looking down at Teddy at my feet because he's crazy. It is currently Thursday, December 21st and it is, oh my gosh, Teddy. it is around 8, after 8, what time is it? 8.29 p.m. So I wanted to go ahead and start my reading vlog here. I am getting ready to film Vlogmas Day 9. I'm going to be filming them a little bit out of order. I'm going to film Vlogmas Day 9 and then I'm going to film Vlogmas Day 8. And this vlog will pretty much cover today or tonight. <laughs> I'm so flustered, I'm sorry. Tomorrow, which is Friday, December 22nd, and then Saturday, December 23rd. So this will be Vlogmas Day 10 and 11. And I'm basically just chronicling the difficulties I've been having reading this month. Ever since I started Vlogmas, my arm's getting tired. Ever since I started Vlogmas, it's been so hard for me to read. And I have been stressed because I've been trying to film a video every day. I didn't prep for Vlogmas. I didn't pre-film. So, yeah. And, you know, I'm trying to work two jobs, you know, work on my novel start a new novel and do vlogmas i don't know what i was thinking but uh next year i definitely know to prep because or i should say bookmas i've been doing 12 days of bookmas not vlogmas lord there's teddy looking all handsome not to no good hmm i'm going to eat my dinner which is going to consist of these cookies have you guys ever heard of these cookies have you seen them before they're German. We got a whole bunch of cookies at work today. We actually got a goodie box from the owner of the building that we ran out. And yeah, he gave us a whole box of Christmas, googie, goo -goo. <laughs> Christmas goodies. There were a whole bunch of cookies in there. So I'm going to be sampling these this evening with a cup of tea and that will be my dinner. I haven't really been hungry lately. I haven't had much of an appetite. The Christmas tree has no ornaments on it, except for like two. We are procrastinators in my home. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever heard of these cookies or tasted them and what you think of them. Guess I'm about to find out shortly. So really quickly, I want to talk about my reading plans as this is a reading vlog. I don't know, I've never done one of these, so I'm flying by the seat of my pants. But um, I've been doing my Colleen Hoover month. Colleen Hoover month and I have so far made it you know pretty far sorry I keep looking over here at my bookshelf I made it far on my Colleen Hoover TBR I have yet to read November 9 I was supposed to read it December 9th but I, I swear guys I'm I just never do anything I say I'm gonna do you know my brain is just like no we're not doing that Oshale but yes I still need to read where did I put them Hmm. I still need to read November 9 and Without Merit, and then I didn't actually read Slammed. I don't know if I am going to read Slammed since I've already read it, so I guess we'll see how much time I have after I've read November 9 and Without Merit. If I have time to read Slammed, I will, but you know, the month ends in like a week, so I don't know. I will be doing a Colleen Hoover month wrap up as well as a December wrap up and I will say that so far this month my December TBR has been a complete bust. I did warn you guys in that video that me and TBRs do not get along. I have had not the, had the best luck with TBRs. I think I stuck to TBRs more when I first started booktube and I felt like that pressure to read what I actually said I was going to read. But I am a complete mood reader and I just never know what's going to happen, what will strike my fancy, what I will want to pick up and read. I just just never know. Um, so yes, and I will be doing a December wrap up as well. So far in December, I actually haven't read that many books. Yeah, so far this month I've read nine books and I'm looking at my Goodreads at my computer and I've read, of the Colleen Hoover TBR, I've read um, Maybe Someday, Ugly Love, It Ends With Us, and Confess. Then I picked up Love Belvin's newest book, um, The Rhythm of Blues, or Love in the Rhythm of Blues. Then I picked up two books by Karina Hale, or Hallie, 
I don't know how to say her name. I picked up Bad at Love and Before I Ever Met You. Then I discovered a new favorite this month and her name is Maureen Smith. I think she is an indie author and I picked up The Swede and Wicked Games which basically features IR relationships for those that you don't know for those of you that don't know the lingo, that's interracial relationships fe featuring black women and white men. So those two are romances. Almost everything I've read this month has been a romance. Now, a book that I did pick up and that was kind of a dud this month is <laughs> trying to reach it. I actually did pick up An Enchantment of Ravens and it was a complete just dud for me. I did not finish it. I'm not going to DNF it. I am going to try to finish it. I just don't know when. I made it maybe like almost not quite two-thirds of the way through before I just lost interest. I mean, the female protagonist just wasn't my favorite. And I don't know, I just lost interest. I just, I don't know. It was boring, guys. I, I thought it was boring. So before the end of the month, I'm going to try to finish An Enchantment of Ravens. Wish me luck. I'm also going to finally read November 9 and then move on. I'm <laughs> stretching. Stretch, stretch, stretch to Without Merit. I don't know if I'll get to Slammed, but I've already read Slammed, so it's like the least of my priorities. I really want to try to get to certain dark things. And then there's actually a new ebook that just came out from Kristen Ashley, whom y'all know I am obsessed with her. And I think it's called The Hookup. I'm not sure. I'll put the picture right here, but it just came out last week. No, a couple days ago. A couple days ago. And I pre-ordered it and it arrived on my Kindle, so I'm going to try to read that one too. <sighs> Lots of reading to do. Lots of reading. I haven't been feeling that well the past couple days, which is why I am behind on Bookmas. But I was off yesterday and I stayed in bed all day and finished up reading... What did I read? I started reading The Swede on Tuesday night. Because when I came home from work, I was just like... I could feel myself starting to get sick. So I crawled in bed and I started reading The Swede by Maureen Smith, which is actually book two in the series. I binge read it, read it all the way through Wednesday, which that was the day I was off and I just wasn't feeling well. So I was pretty much sick in bed all day. Read The Swede all the way through Wednesday. It was a big book, but I loved it. Then right after I finished it, I promptly downloaded the actual first book in the series, which is Wicked Games. And I read that one all the way through up until I would say 2 a.m. this morning. And then I woke up this morning and finished it before I had to go to work at 12. And like I said, these two books by Maureen Smith feature IR relationships. And the male protagonists are hockey players. And it's going to be a whole series featuring these hockey players. So I love a good sports romance. I can't help it. So all in all, I hope to read 14 books by the month's end, but I only have a little over a week left. Yeah, because Christmas is on Monday, it's Thursday, and then the week ends on the following Monday, because New Year's Eve is on Sunday. So I only have a little over a week left in this month to read, let's see, one, two, three, four, five books. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. So my goal for tonight is I'm going to start reading The Hookup, and hopefully I will finish that at some point tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, so I have lots of time to read, and I need to film some more <laughs> Bookmas videos. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm filming Bookmas Day, I think, 8 or 9? No, Bookmas Day 9 today, and then tomorrow I'll probably film Bookmas Day 8. It's a little backwards, but yeah. So I will catch you guys a little later. It is currently 2 a.m., folks, and I haven't gotten any reading done for tonight. Well, technically, it's morning now. I'm going to go ahead and crash. I tried to finish editing my video. I ended up filming Bookmas Day 8 after all, so I guess tomorrow I will film Bookmas Day 9 while simultaneously running all of my errands and reading somehow, somewhere. Oh my goodness. Bookmas was definitely way more than I anticipated, but it's definitely a learning experience for next year. But I digress. I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. I will see you guys later today, I guess. It's Friday now. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. 
Hello, bookworms. It is officially Bookmas Day 10. So weird. I had to like think about it, but then I realized if Bookmas Day 12 is Sunday and today's Friday, then it's Bookmas Day 10. And I haven't had any chance to read yet. I'm dressed to go run my errands, which I'm about to go do. And I hope I get some reading in later, later today at some point. I will keep you guys posted. My to-do list for today include editing Bookmas Day 8, filming Bookmas Day 9, filming Bookmas Day 12, hopefully. I might have to postpone that till tomorrow. And getting through the first few chapters of The Hookup, and then I'm going to try to read some Colleen Hoover at some point today. I still need to get through to starting November 9, I'm hoping to read all of November 9 on Sunday, which is Christmas Eve. So that is my hope. We'll see. So it is now 5 12 p.m. on Friday, December 22nd, and I am about to edit my Bookmas Day 8 video, then I'm going to film Bookmas Day 9, and then I'm going to hopefully start reading. I plan on reading... November 9. I want to get to at least chapter 3. Stay tuned! So I just finished filming Bookmas Day 9 and I'm halfway through editing Bookmas Day 8. So I'm going to go ahead and edit until about 10 p.m. It is almost 9 right now. It is 8.45. So I'm going to go ahead and edit until 10 p.m. Get those ready for upload and then I'm going to start reading at 10 and I will catch up with you guys when I start reading. present and of course new releases of bookmas future now for the ghost of bookmas past what are some bookmas new releases that came out in christmas time of 2016 that i love why i've got quite a few the first one i want to talk about it is wait for it by mariana zapata i talked about it yesterday in my bookmas day 8 videos i won't gush too much more about it i will definitely link the goodreads 